from the Aria Resort in Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering AWS Marketplace. Brought to you by Amazon Web Services. Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're at AWS reInvent 2018. It's a ton of people. We're actually are not in the sands tonight. We're kicking things off at the Aria, at a place called the Quad. It's the AWS Marketplace and Service Catalog Experience Hub. Come on by, they got the foosball, the liquor's out, the food is out, and uh, really kicking off a great event. And we're excited to have a first timer to theCUBE, but a long timer from the industry. He's Mike Silvey, co-founder and EVP of Booksoft. Mike, great to see you. Thank you very much. So it's a little early to ask you your impressions of the show. I'd love to ask you on, uh, on Thursday afternoon, but so far, what do you think? Pretty good, I mean, I've been busy all day. Um, the booth's been, you know, obviously just starting, but um, we've had meetings with every, you know, everybody all day so far, and yeah, crazy. It's a, it's, it's a show like, like no other. Yeah. It's really something else. Well, for a company our side, it's really, really, it's really cool, because you know, we've got a couple of events here in the quad um, on machine learning and on um, DevSecOps. Uh, we've got our booth, we've got people being, you know, People you showcase elsewhere and yeah, no, very cool. Right, Love and it. you're on the queue. And we're on the queue. Oh. Well, I'm on the queue. Hi. <laughs> yeah. So for people that aren't familiar with Booksoft, give us just kind of a quick overview. Okay, yeah. So we set up the company to really help transform the economics of the digital migration. So what we mean by that is that um, you know it's well known. All the statistics show that the more you move to modularized software and take advantage of the cloud with Agile, the the more costly your operations costs are. In other words, your developer productivity goes down because they spend more time doing operations than they do developing. So what we're here to do is make sure that uh, our customers who are all major enterprise corporations, they've got a hybrid world of you know, major enterprise on-premise and then their cloud transition. We're making sure that they can transform, stay agile, but um, while increasing the developer productivity and reducing their operations costs. It's as simple as that. Right, but you're coming at it from a kind of a different perspective. We talked a little bit before we turned the cameras on. You guys are investing really heavily in core technology. Yeah. Not necessarily you know, building a big sales force or building a big marketing department, yep. but really core technology. So I wonder if you can kind of talk about that strategy and, and, and your pursuit of really going down that path. Yeah, no fair. So, I guess it comes from our background, you know, I, I mean, if you look at our history, we did my commute, well, SunNet Manager, as you mentioned earlier <laughs> on, that's, gonna a, say that's a long way back, <laughs> I'm very old. Um, you know, we did my commute years ago at a time of, uh, of the, the client server transformation. We did Riversoft at the time of the, uh, the dot-com boom, um, you know, the move to root cause. You know, today we're in this digital transformation where single faults no longer cause issues. It's a combination of faults over here and micro changes over there that lead to some kind of service or capacity degradation that leads to customer impact. And the problem our customers have is detecting that impact before their end users are impacted. So, um, you know, our perceived competitors out there, you know, folks like Splunk and ServiceNow, no investment in IP. You know, really, they're trying to take old technologies and old techniques to solve a problem that they just can't solve. What we've done is invested in unique IP for that problem. So, so far, 44 patents at this time. Um, we've invested in a huge number of PhD scientists to to achieve what we've done. And we've developed some specific technology around machine learning, AI, collaborative and uh, uh, social um, operations to really you know, give you that economic value. Right, because like, your mission is really AI for IT ops, right? Yeah, exactly, right that's off, right, perfect. Off the, uh, off, off the website. Nice. Um, yeah, so really what that stands for is earlier detection of actionable issues. Now, on that case, um, there's an airline that is American that I can't mention, so you can't use it on camera. Um, who last year had a rather public outage. So they had a six hour outage where they were unable to schedule flights because the ground handling software failed. This year they have Moogsoft and um, our software detected an incident that they could action earlier, resolve before it impacted their ground handling system. And right. if they realized that if they hadn't got, you know, if our software hadn't shown them that issue, unknown unknown, um, they would have had a four and a half hour minimum outage of uh, flights across the US. That's expensive. So, Quite expensive, thank you. <laughs> so early detection, fewer actionable issues. So you think right. across DevOps teams, one DevOps team has an issue, normally the rest of the teams are impacted, they all spend time investigating. With our software, we show the team who's got the issue, they've got the problem, we show everybody else their collateral damage, don't waste time. So we improve the productivity there, and then we um, help them remediate much earlier without customer impact, so right. there you are. So we're here at the uh, AWS Marketplace Experience, so it's a mouthful. Um, but I just love to get your perspective on, you know, you said specifically, you guys are targeting a lot of investment in IP. Um, how does, you know, 
how does partnering with Amazon in the marketplace enable you uh, to really build a company differently than, as you said, back in the old days when you didn't have really kind of a distribution yeah. opportunity like this? No, good question. So I guess, um, you know, we started the company as an on-premise um, product, we, and we, as I said, targeting very large corporations. So, you know, the kinds of customers we have, you know, um, HCL, the MSP space, Wipro in the MSP space, people like GoDaddy, uh, Yahoo, folks like that, and then some very far, very large financial services. Right. And we started in the on-prem world, and as those customers have started their migration to uh, hybrid, it became really clear that Amazon was, you know, focusing on that area as well. And what, I, what the AWS marketplace has allowed us to do is massively shorten, frankly, our sales cycle um, with our customers with very large scale deals, but also help those customers adopt our software much more quickly as well. So you know, it works really well for Amazon, works really well for our customers, and works really well for us. Right. That earlier value, you know, much bigger customer adoption much more quickly, and um, the marketplace benefits because we help those customers transition over to uh, the marketplace much more quickly as well. You know, take advantage of Agile. Right, and I, I don't think a lot of people give enough credit, especially for a smaller company, how hard it is to do business with a big company. Not, not because of anything with the technology, mm, yeah. but just in terms of getting through, getting it, being an approved. The commercials. Just being an approved vendor, as you say, the commercials yeah. can be the biggest hurdle to actually closing the deal. It has nothing to do whether the buyer wants to buy no, it right or on. whether it's a great uh, technology fit. So by using the marketplace, you basically just taken all that difficulty right off the table. There's a, the, you know, the marketplace has the enterprise contract. If the customer has an enterprise contract, they can just buy our software, no EULA, no commercials with us, that's it, thank you right. very much. We get paid, everybody's happy, and those customers get to save money as well, but I probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> um, and, then, and then just, how's it been working with Amazon as a, as a partner? Well, they, some people are scared, they're like, you know, they're so big, and if they find something they like, they're just going to, you know, roll it up in the big machine. But yeah. So how's it been working with Amazon as a partner? Quite amazing, actually. I don't want to get too sycophantic with Amazon here, but, um, you know, firstly, we're a tiny company, really. We're 200 people. Okay, we're selling above our weight, I guess, and the customers we have, but, um, you know, they changed the marketplace to do deals for us. I mean, I've been amazed. So we started the company, we founded the company on the principle, we wanted to bring joy to our customers, meaning we wanted to be agile, customer focused, very customer centric. I've never met a large corporation like Amazon that is so customer focused. So with particular customers, we've done you know, marketplace transactions, very high value, very large scale. Amazon's changed the marketplace in hours to facilitate those deals for the customers. I mean, in terms of the engagements we have with the, you know, the CloudWatch team and the CloudTrail and the uh, AWS Systems Manager teams, you know, they work, they're working with us on product changes to help those customers for us. Right. You know, it's really, really cool. So, yeah, totally different experience. Something you don't expect from a very large corporation. Well, I think it's great because you have alignment because they really still care about the customer first. They probably love having yeah. you as a partner, but not before, but not before they like the customer. So. You know, it's, uh, it yeah. sounds like a good symbiotic it's relationship. Really good. Yeah. All right, well Mike, I'm going to track you down on Thursday night and get your press into this show. Super. Because uh, <laughs> you're going to be blown away. Thanks for taking a few minutes Thanks of your much. day. All right, Cheers. he's Mike, I'm Jeff, you're watching theCUBE. We're at AWS Marketplace and Service Center Experience Hub at the Aria, come on by. <laughs>